I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey guys, it's Manny Lopez. Very unique and new edition of PLS Tips. I believe this is my first of the year. It took a couple weeks off. Uh, I had to really focus on a couple things I'm doing, but I'm back. All right, guys, I'm back with the new PLS Tips with Manny. I uh, see a different location. This is just outside my front porch right here, but I wanted to really get a personal and really get really deep into what we want to talk about for the next couple weeks. I really want to give you guys my blueprint to success. Um, you know, every time I do these PLS tips, right here, my daughter in the background, she's like, what are you doing out there, daddy? <laughs> um, I really try to give you guys some tips and strategies on how to be successful in growing your business. All right. I've grown my network to over 20,000 business professionals. Yes, baby. How you doing? Daddy's right here. <laughs> I've grown my network to over 20,000 business professionals. And I want to show you guys. Really? Really? <laughs> He's like, I want to go outside with daddy. Hey, close the door so I get it done. I can't have her screaming every five seconds. It's not going to really work. <laughs> so I want to give you guys some really unique tips and strategies on what I do uh, to grow my network. There's four main strategies of how I do it. Okay, And I'm going to go over these over the next four weeks. So each video is going to be one topic. Uh, the first one is social media. Okay, I do four main things. Social media, mobile marketing, video marketing, and networking. All right. So let's go over the first one, that's social media. What do you do to be successful on social media? A lot of people think, well, I gotta go get a fan page. I gotta go join every single network out there. That's not necessarily true. You really gotta find out who your niche market is, okay? If you're targeting business owners, the two best social medias out there are Facebook and LinkedIn to target business owners. Are you targeting consumers? Do you have build your own products, You know, work from home kind of stuff? Um, there's a lot of different ways to go out there, but if you're watching this video, more than likely you are a network marketer, you're an affiliate marketer, you're really trying to build a home-based business. So here's how you do that. What I do is I focus on two different areas on social media, okay? I focus my efforts on Facebook, and the other social media would be YouTube. Now, you're probably watching this video from a YouTube video. Well, you probably only are because that's the only place I'm going to post it. <laughs> I use Facebook because it's the number one social media giant out there, okay? If you combine the next five after Facebook, you still don't have as many as Facebook users. They got 1.4 billion users worldwide, probably close to 1.5 by now. And the reason it's so popular is because it first came out with simplicity, it just came out with very simple, easy to access content. And right now they've got more users than anybody else out there. So you wanna put yourself in front of places where people are at. But how do you be successful on Facebook? Okay? The way I've been successful is I be me, I be real. I'm not out there with a profile picture that's uh, a brand. You know, It's me. Okay, People want to do business with people. They want to see that you're real. I mean, you don't know how many times I get inbox from people who have a profile picture of an image that is not them. Or it's a profile picture where they've got only one picture of themselves and the rest are just marketing pictures of solo ads or nonsense, right? If you want people to do business with you, you got to be real. You know, when you go to my profile, you see my kids, you see me and my things that I do, you see my events I host and I attend, you see the things that I have, milestones, accomplishments, motivation, things that show that I'm a real person and that I'm out there trying to give value, okay? I'm not out there selling every single post. I'm not out there going, join my team, do this, do that. No, I want to go out there and show people how to do things, how to be successful. And that's key, okay? If you're on Facebook, you only want to show your life, you want to show you know, the things that you're going out there doing, the differences that you're making out there in the world. You know, So many people will follow you but not say nothing, right? And then you go and meet them face to face sometime in the future and they're like, hey, I've been seeing all the stuff you do on Facebook and your kids and oh my God, your daughter is so awesome, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, your kid's such an amazing artist. It's like they know you before they even get to meet you and that just breaks the barrier so easily. And if you do this consistently, this wasn't something that overnight, all of a sudden, you know, I was a Facebook guru or, you know, all this stuff. No, right? This took years and years of consistent value, okay? And it's really just documenting your life. You know, you're going out there and you're sharing the places you go, the people you meet, the partnerships you make, the milestones you hit, the achievements you make. It's all about being real, folks, okay? Another side is YouTube. That's another social media out there. With YouTube, 
What I like about YouTube is it lets me express myself visually, okay? And it's the second largest search engine in the world, okay? It's second only to Google. And, well, guess who owns YouTube? Google, okay? YouTube is a great tool because it allows me to put how-to videos out there, organize it, playlists, you know, share content. People, you know, sharing YouTube videos is such an easy thing. People finding you on YouTube. I get so many leads from YouTube. So it's a great tool to be able to generate leads. It's a great tool to get exposure. And it's a great way to organize your how-to videos. When you get to a position like myself, where you got a lot of people contacting you on a daily basis, you want to go out there and you want to give value. And the only way you can do that is on a massive scale is to have how-to videos. How to do this, how to do that, how to do this, how to do that. Because it's gonna to get to a point where you're answering the same questions again and again and again. If you wanna go out there and you be real and you wanna go out there and be able to train people on a massive scale, you gotta have how-to videos. So start doing those because you're gonna get across people that say, hey, how do you do that, right? And then you say, well, I did a video on this. Or you're gonna be able to get your content by the questions you get asked. I get asked all the time, Manny, how do I do market on this? How do I do this? How do I do that? And if you go through my videos, I've got hundreds of videos of how to do this, how to do that. So at any one time, I can go say, oh, here's a video. I got a video for that. Let me shoot that to you via text. Let me shoot that in your inbox. Let me shoot that to you on Facebook. And bam, that thing that would have taken you 30 minutes to explain, going back and forth, you just say, here's a five-minute video on how I did that. I mean, come on. It's, it's very easy, guys, okay? So that's a great start. So first things first is you want to go out there and you want to be real. You want to be authentic. Okay? You don't go on there and put a fake facade of a brand or something else or a company like some lady was trying to sell me some solo ads recently. And you know, I really don't buy solo ads too much anymore. It's, it's really about building the network that I have and nurturing the network I have. I've got over 20,000 leads already. I don't need to keep adding more and not be able to service those. So for me right now, the focus is just building out the relationships that I have with the network I've attained. Until you get to that point, you got to build. You got to build, and there's a lot of different ways to do that. I'll go over mobile marketing and video marketing and uh, networking in the next three weeks. Okay, you're gonna see one next week, the week after, and the week after that. It's not gonna be any skips. All right. So I'm gonna give giving you guys that content today. We went over social media. Um, focus yourself on Facebook. Definitely have that in your strategies. And then include other things like Instagram and Pinterest and LinkedIn and all these other things depending on who you're trying to target. Okay, One of the best ways if you're in network marketing and you want to build your team, create a group on Facebook just for your team. Okay, This way you can say, hey, if you join my team, you join a group. On our groups, we're going to give you tips on this. Why do you think Power Lead System has a group? They've got over 20,000 members in it. And look, you go ask a question in that group and what happens? You get dozens of people that respond to you with answers. But, you know, All these people that want to help you because there's so much resource and value that they just want to give it. And there's so many people that want to give and you get your team big enough, other people will take over the work of helping your team. And since everybody's going to be working together, everyone's building together, everyone benefits together. Okay, So really focus on that. Um, get a private group or an unlisted group, something that doesn't just give it public where everybody gets to see everything because if you're creating a group for your team, you want it to be exclusive. You want to have like your own VIP, you know, group that you know they get access to that no one gets access to unless they're part of your group okay so make sure that the content's not really being seen by everybody um, stay away from Facebook pages I'll, I'll give you guys that right now Facebook pages are not what they used to be you're getting a five to ten percent reach and then you gotta spend money in advertising your own page that you've already grown your people to so you're getting a very limited reach um, just so they can make sure you're spending money in advertising to me I don't think that's cool so I focus everything on my profile. Um, I don't sit there and I don't promote business every day, so I don't look like I'm not breaking the terms and conditions of Facebook. But I do invite people. You know what's cool about your groups? If you had your own group for business, okay, and you have a profile for Facebook, you can then all your friends you can add them to your group. So let's you know say hey let's connect on Facebook first. Get them add them as a friend. Get them on your Facebook group at, or a Facebook page or Facebook profile. Sorry. And then at that point, then you can go in and invite them to your group. Obviously, get the permission. Don't just keep adding all your friends to groups. That's really annoying. Uh, but say, hey, I want to introduce you to our group. Um, this is just specifically for my business. I'd love to be able to give you some information on it. Um, and then inbox them. Ask them questions. Ask them about who they are. Uh, first, you know, if you don't know who they are, browse their profile. It's really annoying when people say, hey, are you married? Are you this? Are you this? And it's like, come on, it's a simple click on my profile, read my about, and you'll know everything about what I do. 
um, and put as much as you can about yourself that you want out there. So this way people know your business, you know, they know who you are, they know how you can help them and what you're doing. You know, for me it's very simple. I service uh, a lot of different people with what I do. Um, I try to be a resource for everybody I come across. If I can't help you with somebody in my network can, or if I can't help you personally, I know somebody in my network can. So for me, it's just all about giving, giving, giving. Because if you give more, you will receive more. And it's, it's always happened for me. Um, there's so many deals that I, I've gotten in my business where it's all because of a how-to video I put on YouTube where I did it for free. You know, I don't get paid on my YouTube channel. You guys can go watch all my videos. You're not going to see one ad on my video unless there was some music in the background that fake, you know, YouTube added. But I don't make a penny off of any of these videos I do on YouTube. I, get, I make money from the people that connect with me with my other services that I offer. That's how I get money. But the value I give is for free. Okay? I give this out just to teach you guys how to do things because there's so many people that don't have the resources and money to go out there and do this. But if they can have somebody like myself that will teach them step by step, here's what you need to do to be successful, now then go out there and be successful and then get money and then be able to go out there and afford to hire mentors where they can do one-on-one -on -one coaching, buy the books and things that they need to better themselves. You know, it's a step-by-step -step process. Everybody starts from step one, okay? Go out there and be great. I believe that everybody, single, every single person has created for greatness. Just like you see in this video right before it started, my little quote, everybody, I, what was it? Um, I believe everybody is created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found it. You can do that. It doesn't matter what your situation is, what your background is. It doesn't matter if you're born without legs or arms. It doesn't matter if you're born with a mental disability. Go out there and be great. Be the best at what you can do. Find something you love to do, and I guarantee you there's a way to make that your living, to live your passion, live your dreams. Don't go out there and let society tell you what you can and cannot do. I was talking to a guy yesterday. I posted this post. Man, it, 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 it hits some feathers to people. Um... It was basically saying, and it was a quote from a guy named Jack Ma, he was the uh, founder of Alibaba or some company like that. I didn't know until after I posted the guy's info there, everybody started going crazy on me. But um, the quote basically told, said something like, the hardest people to serve are the poor people because, you know, they think it's all a scam. You give them an opportunity, they think it's an MLM. They don't, you know, they're just always doubt-minded. They're, they're in this mindset of being poor. It's not, it's not broke poor, not poor as in your money's in your bank account. It's the mindset of being poor. The mindset of seeing that you have this opportunity in front of you and you don't take it. You, you see this, these benefits that you could have and all you do is you sit back and complain why you can't do it. You know, you have all these things in here that say, I can't do this because of this. I can't do this because of that. You're giving yourself excuses why you can't be successful. The people that are successful are the ones that did not look at excuses and see those as fact. They saw those excuses and saw those as obstacles, overcoming challenges. They saw those as as ways for them to better themselves. So many people, you know, they fail not because of failing. So they fail because of doubt. You know, they, they don't go out there and they don't take risks. They don't say, you know, I will do this no matter what happens, no matter what people say. They see their first roadblock and all of a sudden they just give up. Most people are just three feet from gold, three feet from that eventual success, but they just fell short and they gave up. Don't be that person. If you're watching this video right now and you see that you're in a, in a very difficult position, you know, you may have finances are hurting right now. You may be wondering where your next meal is coming from. You may be wondering if you're going to have a roof over your head in the next month, if you're going to get evicted. I've been through that, guys. I've been through many times. I've been evicted twice from places, almost three times, but I ended up working the deal out with that guy. But it's because, you know, you go through struggles in life when you're trying to build your dream. You know, God is, doesn't make it easy for you. And it's because you have to put in that work to have that success. Every single one of the success stories that you come across, you talk to a millionaire, a billionaire out there, they're not going to tell you it was easy. They're not going to tell you it was, oh yeah, I just, you know, I just started something and bam, and everything happened and it was great. They've come over, come so many obstacles and, 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 and challenges that they had and failures that they've had. But one thing they didn't do was give up. That's the main thing they didn't do. They didn't go and, and, and make excuses to why they can't be successful. They just said, great, I get to learn from this, failure now. That's what it is for me. I always look at failures as stepping stones to success. It's one more step up my ladder. I'm going to fail again. You know, I'm going to fail many times in life. I expect failure. When you expect failure, 
now you don't worry about it. You don't doubt it. You don't you don't have the fear of failure. Forget fear. Okay? Failure failure is something that you should be welcoming because to me failures are learning experiences. I see it as something that I can take now from and learn from to help me grow. Because there's so many times that I look back now and I see those failures that I've been through and I'm like, wow, I'm so lucky I went through that because now I have the knowledge to, I'm coming up on this obstacle, I know which way to go. I see that fork in the road and now I know I should be going, turning left when in reality, before my mindset would make me turn right and then that failure would hit harder. Life is very funny the way it works. Everything that you go through is going to be something you're going to learn from that's going to help you in the future. Think about that, okay? So I'm going to leave you guys with that, um, you know, a little bit longer than my normal PLS tips. Uh, not if you're watching from my beginning ones. Those things were like 45 minutes <laughs> to an hour. I like to keep them short. Try to keep them under 10 minutes. Um, but sometimes you just, you know, you got some content you got to share and you got to get these words out. So um, I hope you guys like this PLS tips. I will be back next week with a brand new episode. And I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for more. Next week is we're going to talk about mobile marketing. How to you get how to get customers using mobile? I'm gonna give you guys some really cool strategies on that, and some of the stuff that I use to get thousands and thousands of leads. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys next week. Uh, if you love this video, share it, like it, comment, subscribe. You know all that nonsense people take about in videos, but you know just get this out to your team. Let people know how they can grow their business, how they can grow their home based business, how they can grow their network marketing business, their affiliate business, their their board brick and mortar business, right? If you have a business, you need to watch these videos. I'll see you guys next week, and always remember you are too blessed to be stressed. Have a great one. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found it.